I was on the ground in Libya right after uh, this happened and was with our team there and witnessed the shock of them losing uh, the colleagues they lost. Met the JSOC folks who were nothing short of absolute American heroes in what they did but also witnessed uh, the despair of a group that felt like, I think, they were out on a tether and did not have the support of Washington. I'm dismayed uh, that this hearing is already centered on additional money, which may well be needed, but as Senator Boxer just said, we would have no idea because we have never done a top-to-bottom review of the State Department ever since I've been here in the minority for six years, and I hope that will change with this next Congress. So we have no idea whether the State Department is using its money wisely or not, and I think that is a shame. Uh, to each of you, I will tell you, what I saw in the report is a department that has chlorosis, that doesn't think outside the box that is not using the resources that it has in any kind of creative ways, is not prioritizing. I cannot imagine sending folks out to Benghazi after what we saw from the security cameras and the drones. I cannot imagine that we had people out there with a lack of security existing. It seems to me that what the State Department would have done is to prioritize, and if in fact we cannot have people safely there, not send them there. You were aware of the security risks there. We've read the cables. You were fully aware, and either you send people there with security or you don't send them there. I don't understand why you didn't send a notification up with the cables coming in, with concerns about security, why didn't you do just what you did with this ARB, seeking additional funds? I don't understand. The Appropriations Committee has never received from the State Department a notification asking to shift funds uh, for security in Benghazi. Every time there's an issue, uh, we start talking about more money. The fact is that you had 16 site security team personnel on the ground. They were at no cost to the State Department totally funded by the Defense Department, no money issue. They'd been there for a long, long time. They'd been extended multiple times at no cost to you other than the lodging for them to be there. Defense Department totally pays for them. Tripoli asked that they be extended, and you didn't do it. This has nothing to do with money. Why did you not do that? I'm just saying that the culture within the State Department, to me, is one that needs to be transformed. This committee can help. Maybe the next Secretary of State can help. But the fact is, there's a lot of work that needs to be done there.